everybody. It's Bob Boob, the real estate guy behind the camera. John, can they see your face? No. He will not let you. If you see John Boob out there, tell him to get in front of the camera sometime. But I have the pleasure with John here today. We're at four, where we're at? 424 Fairview Street in the borough of Avis. Actually, John, if you show them up there above your head, we're actually at the intersection of Fairview and Ross Street, R-O-S-S, -S, that's where we're at. And uh, John, if you kind of turn them behind, uh, John's facing south now. There's a beautiful park, play area, uh, baseball field uh, going down that direction. Also very easy access to Route 220. I guess here, John, we can walk and talk here. Um, you're gonna see, this is uh, what they call one of the double lots or an oversized yard for Avis. I believe John's like the Momark. Is yep. Kind of the, so, uh, look at this here, guys. Big yard. John must stay a little closer to you just so they can hear me so they don't sound too hollow. But big yard off to the right, or this would be the east side of the property. And of course, uh, back there you can see your burner barrel and a little tree. Um, that's probably the boundary line there. And then as John kind of show them the house here, you see a lot of nice work done on here. We've got a newer roof, we've got new siding, has that, uh, I don't know what they call that, El Dorado or fake stone or whatever it is, but it's really pretty there. 100 amp electrical service we see here. So just a really nice looking home then. And then, uh, what do you think, John? Should we show them inside? Yeah. All right, come on inside, everybody. Now, the uh, first thing you're going to see here is that they uh, enclosed the front porch. And what? Uh, push pause, John, because we're locked out. Okay, we we're just kidding you. We're not going to take you in the front door. We're going to take you in this back door here. But again, John, show them the nice size yard. Um, actually, let's show them the garage here real quick, too, John. So you got a nice size yard. Super cool red Jeeps, not included. How about the, uh, how do you say the name of your car? Acadia. Acadia, is that included? <laughs> no. Not the right price? <laughs> well, you can see it's a two car garage. And again, it looks like they probably did the siding and roof maybe on around the same time as the as the house then. So, you show them the back of the house. Uh, as you can see, again, metal roof there. Nice size patio here on the back. With the is the swing included, John? I believe so. All right. The right price, the swing's included. And uh, you'll see there's a couple doors here. We'll take you in the glass door here. And John, go ahead and show them inside this kitchen area here. Uh, earlier, I was telling you here in Avisboro, which is real close to Route 220. So a lot of times for, yeah, John, you can go ahead and walk around there and show them the whole thing then. Um, but it's part of the Jersey Shore School District. But if you're a commuter, maybe going to State College, or maybe you're going to Lock Haven, Jersey Shore, Lewisburg, uh, a lot of people that buy homes in Avis seem one person's heading one way in the morning, another person's heading the other way. But nice kitchen too, John. Nice, uh, nice size. And I'm assuming the appliances are staying here, John. Yes, what's here stays. Okay. So this is a lot of lot of cabinets, double double sink. Looks like pretty much new windows inside the house here too, the new thermal ones. And then John, show them here in the closet. What the owners did is they added a first floor toilet so if you need to pediddle you don't have to go upstairs to do that and then uh, a little extra storage space here then I guess this would be kind of the dining area probably want to move that box out of the way before you put a table and chair and you could put bar stools here so nice size kitchen and I guess John let's take them over here into the what do you call this the dining room here I guess um whoa that's a big table so nice size uh, dining room too, huh, John? Oh, yeah. It's got the triple window there, and uh, again, it looks like all the windows are newer. This is a pretty good size room too. What do you think, John? Maybe 12, 13 by 15, 16, something like that? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh, there's a tree growing in here, John. You see that on the wall there? See? Da, da, da. But that you. Now here, the owner's calling this a laundry room, but I didn't want to be argumentative with her, but you hear that echo because the room is so big but there is laundry hookups here but i think it would also make a good area if you wanted to put uh treadmill kids toys office area whatever and you can see this is that second door then going back out to the patio then so uh i guess uh probably some versatile uses here and then as we continue on from the kitchen then this would be the living room area here and again, it has the newer windows and as you can see the baseboard heating. This is oil, hot water, baseboard heat. And then of course, kind of John, show them how the steps will go there and uh, uh, what the layout is here. And then uh, of course the dining room to John's left. 
Now, the room we were gonna show you first, this is the enclosed porch. This is really cool if you like knotty pine, but this also could make a good office area or uh, plant room, uh, just because you get a lot of sunlight here. Here we got the southern exposure in this room. But this house, really, with very minor things, should qualify for all the financing programs, don't you think, John? Yeah. Yeah, so so what that means, guys, is, uh, and uh, actually, John, push pause real quick. We'll go upstairs, and then we'll show them um, the upstairs. Okay, I'm sorry. I forgot. We didn't show you the basement down here yet, so we, we'll go upstairs next, though. But downstairs here, and maybe, John, if you want to kind of scan, and I'll talk to him a little bit. A bunch of things here you're seeing. we got a stone foundation here in the property. Um, looks like somebody's put some pillars here in the past to support things. You do get some water here during heavy rains. Uh, there's a saying in Avisboro, there's two kind of basements, the kind that have gotten water and the kind that are gonna get water. Um, but you're on the side of the hill here. So there is, uh, and I think there's a sub pump over here in the uh, porch. This one's in the low corner, John. I was just at a house recently, they put the sub pump in the high corner. That doesn't make sense. That would have been Bob Boob Construction doing that. Now you do have public water, but they have a water uh, softener, water filter on there. You can see this in, I don't know what the age is, but it looks newer to me than this is oil furnace. This here has the domestic coil for your hot water, for your bath water. And then over there, you can see we have a 100 amp breaker box. Um, supposed to have the covers on those, but they must have been doing some work and forgot to put the cover back on. But I don't know, anything else down here, John, I should show them? I think so. The dungeon area here. Okay, so that's the, that's the basement then. So now we're going to push pause, and I promise you, promise, promise you, we'll be up on the second floor. Okay, as promised, we're upstairs here in the second floor. So John, we got a lot of things going on here. Actually, here, they had a little bit of that extra stone from the outside they used here, so that was kind of neat to kind of incorporate in the different textures of stone and pine. But behind me here, this would be, I'm gonna call this the master bedroom, because it seems like it's the largest, don't you think, John? Yeah. And again, I don't know, maybe 13, 14 wide here by 16, 17. Got the wood floors here. Now, John, if you wanna show them over there in the corner, there's the uh, little closet here. So, and that'll take, actually, John, if you wanna show them the attic, you can show them up there in the attic. I won't uh, necessarily come up with, actually, I'll come up with you, why not? John will protect me. So, you can see here, they, when they rewired, they pulled up a lot of these boards, but they never put them back down. So you do have some storage. And John, you can see underneath there has new sheeting, uh, plywood, uh, underneath the, the roof, which is a which is a good thing. Kind of hot up here, isn't it, John? Mm -hmm. All right, so is that because I walked up here or is it because of the temperature? I'll bet you it's because I walked up here, it's all, all hot. Now careful, John, don't fall. So here you just get a different perspective of the size of the bedroom, but come check this closet out over here. So now we're walking, this is the north side of the house. This was probably a porch at one time, but again, John, show them the scan of all the pine boards and uh, Got closets on both, or closet racks on both sides. Uh, lots of sunlight. So I suppose you could use this even as a sitting area, maybe with a table and chairs or desk. Again, just a bonus room. You got that enclosed porch. You got that laundry room that's the size of a freaking bedroom. You got this walk-in closet. But just a lot of extra spaces, huh, John? Mm -hmm. I was telling you guys earlier about with the financing, and I really think that uh, this will qualify. A lot of times you'll hear them called the first-time homebuyer programs. But really, you don't have to be a first-time homebuyer to use many of the programs. Like FHA, for instance, um, which is kind of a civilian VA loan. This house should really, with very minor things, qualify very easily. And super low interest rates. Um, and this, check this clause out here, John. Do you know what that board is called on there? No? It's called cedar. Smell it. Doesn't it smell good? Does it smell? Can you smell it, John? Yeah. Can you smell it, John? John, will you get in front of the camera yet? No. So a nice size closet in here too. That's what they call a cedar, cedar line closet. And then of course, so that's bedroom number two. And then, oh, let's show them the bathroom last. That's kind of cool. Now again, this is another nice size bedroom. You maybe use this one as a, the master bedroom too, it depends. But this one has the really dinky little closet. So here's the closet here. Hi, I'm really a small closet compared to the other ones. John, are you dying to call me your dad right now? Right, John, talk to him. All right, I'm done talking with closet talk. But nice size, nice size bedroom. We're getting wood floors here too, huh, John? Yep. All right, so are you ready to show them this bathroom? Ready. We got an exciting feature in this house to show you with this bathroom. 
First of all, the bathroom was remodeled. Now, one of my favorite colors to paint with is yellow. John's one of your favorite colors too? No. No, John Boob doesn't like yellow, but I like yellow. Isn't this nice and bright and just happy? Has the double sink, big vanity. Geez, you only think that is maybe about, that's gotta be six foot now, you think? Yeah. So, yeah, measure with my feet. Well, there, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six foot. And then here you have the newer uh, tub with the shower. Of course, it's got one of those doohickeys you can pull out to get on your back. But John, one of the coolest features. Matter of fact, if I've ever sold a house before, I didn't even know it had one of these. But the owner told me, see this little flippy dippy thing here, John? It is a self-cleaning toilet. So there, if you want to do a quick clean job or if you, well, maybe you had broccoli or something the night before and maybe you want to do the deep cleaning after you're done with this. But did you ever see one of those, John? No. It actually cleans itself and stuff then. That's a pretty cool feature, isn't it? Uh, owner said it cost a whole lot of money and she always wanted one, so she got it here then. Gee, John, I think we, do we miss anything with this house? So again, we're, we're here in Fairview Street in Avis. If you got financing questions or maybe you got a house to sell and you're not sure how to do it, give John Boob a call. What's your cell number, number John? 570-772-5985. Okay, hey, I gotta write that down because he doesn't give me his telephone number so I can't, he blocks me on his phone. But, uh, but give Century 21 First Choice a call. Our office number is 398-0690. Any of our super awesome cool agents be glad to help you or text John Boob with that number he gave you. But thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you had a good time.